Alrighty, who boys and girls? Uh, Mike from Megatuff Paracord Products here. Um, just want to do a quick tutorial on a couple variations of the snake knot. I uh, had a couple people ask me to do this, so um, I actually enjoy, prefer to use a um, breakaway buckle or breakaway clasp for these. Um, it's these plastic breakaway <laughs> clasps come apart. Um, I prefer these because the snake knot's really a pretty round knot, so and these make nice ends and the snake knot does make some nice lanyards and I even use these on bracelets as well. So but anyway, I just wanted to show you how to get that started, or the way I get it started and ended, um, just so you have a decent idea of how I do it. Um, so anyway, we'll take a piece of cord. I'll just show you how, because I've already got a couple of these started, um, how I get this accomplished. Um, take about an oh, inch and a quarter or so. Uh, of the guts out of the ends of uh, there's actually one cord but pretend it's two <laughs> okay inch and a quarter or so and we'll just take it and pull that down through there so there's no guts in the about the last inch or so of, of the ends of this cord here um, and I just hold them about that far apart and then I'll sorry that was out of frame um, then I'll just inside here I just start melting them so they'll end up going together for me okay it goes together nicer for the for me that way and I can make a oh an inch or so that I'll uh, melt these things together just roll them in my fingers so it goes through there real easy okay so you've got this little hard end to it then just take it and stick it up through there grab the end I'll tell you what I'll grab it with my emos And pull it through till the till you feel the guts that are still inside here, and just cut it and melt those again. Melt them really good so they're connected to each other. Okay. Then We'll melt it, make it a little bit bigger, not too much because you don't have much room, nor do you need it. For the deeper side of the buckle, I always start on the deeper side. Okay, that's hard enough. Pull it down inside there, and then that, that just won't come through, okay? Um, so I'm going to do another one here real quick. One second while I find my clasp here. Okay. Um, I've already done what I just showed you to uh, a white and blue one here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and stick that through. I guess we'll be showing you this twice. Okay, there you go. 
Okay, so I hope that was in frame. It, anyway, it's not really relevant here. Um, all we're going to do, I'll start with the blue. We'll wrap the blue one around to make a loop like this. Then we'll reach under the blue and grab the white and stick it, bring it around and stick it through that loop like that. All right. Now we're actually going to, for the first knot, we are going to pull that loop fairly tight. This is the way I do it now. It just see, just goes a lot easier for me. And we're going to go a, back around and through that loop one more time. Okay. Then, while leaving this loose, we pull the other one tight. Okay. Now we're going to spin this around. You'll notice there's two on this side. So then we'll take the blue, bring it around, bring it underneath this one like that and stick it through that loop that we left loose okay leave that one loose and pull the white tight pull it nice and tight so we'll snug them up then again you spin it around you see two blues together so the whites on the other side away from you, pull it underneath, around, and through that loop. Okay, then while leaving this one loose, we pull the blue one tight. Okay, that's all there is to this. You, you do end up having to like twist it a little bit and snug those where these knots come together and you'll see this here in just a second you're going to pull that blue one tight roll it over okay roll it over so you have two once again we just did white so we'll get blue in here you got that loose one, so we'll put the blue through there, leave it loose, leave that loop loose, pull the white one tight. Now you don't have to worry about these not lining up perfectly at first, because they will, they'll end up coming together, so you can start to see it right there. Um, pull the white one tight, pretty good and tight, okay, and you're going to, again, roll it over, You'll see two blues together. Take the white underneath, around, and through that loop. Okay, leave that one loose and pull the blue tight. Okay, now roll it over. You see two whites together, reach around, grab the blue, and stick it through that loop. Leaving it, leave that loose and pull the white tight. Oops, lost my grip there. Now you start to see that snake knot develop. Okay, leave that one loose. Got the blue we just did, obviously. Roll it over so the white is on the other side. Reach under, pull it around, and stick it through that loose loop, and pull the blue tight. Okay. And all you do is continue to roll this over, take the side that's away from you, pull it under, around, through that loop. Leave that one that you just pulled loose and pull the last one tight. So you got a decently taut, tight snake knot here, see? Okay. And we just did blue, so we'll roll over so the white's away from us. Reach under, bring it around, and through that loop.
leave that one fairly loose pull the blue tight See that there's your snake knot roll it over it looks the same on the other side okay um, pull that blue tight again roll it over reach under the white grab your blue and go through that loop that's the, all there is to the snake knot it's pretty easy this is the easiest way I've seen to or I've found to make that work out and you kind of have to like twist these into place and stuff um, to make them but you know it ends up looking really nice so say okay, leave that loose reach under the blue, grab the white, put it through that loop, leave that one loose, pull the blue tight, okay, roll it over, and you see you try to keep the, the width of these fairly uniform, roll it over, grab the blue, bring it under, that's all there is to that one. Okay, now I'm going to show you Pull the white tight, again, leave the blue loose for yourself, roll it over, and just continue that, and that's your basic two-strand snake knot. Okay, I also have a red, white, and blue one that I showed. It's like the American flag snake knot. Um, so, I just wanted to show you how I get this one started. Um, because it's all blue on one side of the knot and red and white striped on the other side of the knot, um, you're going to need about twice as much blue as white because you're using the blue every knot and you're only using red and white or red or white every other knot. Um, so anyway, so we'll go ahead and start. We'll always start with the blue. We'll go around just like the standard snake knot how we get them started okay bring the white around stick it through that loop okay bring that up we're gonna take then we're gonna take our red the next one that we incorporate and stick it right through this hole of the blue see that before we cinch this white and blue up to make our snake knot okay now all you're going to end up doing at the end is or you could do it now if you prefer but kind of roll this out of your way snip and singe that I can go ahead and do that for you real quick just to show you real easy hidden in there pretty good okay um, okay we've got our white and our blue done <clears throat> now our next one will be red so but what I want to let you know is you, okay you're all gonna go over the top of everything with the blue every time both the other strands <clears throat> but the, our last one was white here so we're gonna do red the difference is you can't bring the red over everything too. You just have to reach under the blue and grab that red cord. Only do not go over the white and then through that loop that you just created. Then we're going to go ahead and tighten that one down. Okay. Tighten these fairly slowly so you can, you know, don't pull one cord at once. And then you'll just kind of nestle those together by doing a little twist on them. Now you have the red furthest away from you. So, and our last one was red, so we'll go again over the top of everything with the blue. Bring it around, make that loop. And then we're just going to reach under the blue, grab the white, and do a snake knot with the white and the blue. Through that loop. that 
blue on one side and red and white striped on the other American flag. Um, what you're going to do here to, to help keep this compact is the, si the color that you're not either red or white that you're not using on your last knot, grab and just kind of pull that away and that'll make those nestle together really nicely. Um, so let's, last one was white. We'll go over the top of everything with the blue. Oops, got stuck there. Make that loop. Take, reach under the blue, grab the red. Remember, do not go over the top of the white. Just grab from underneath the blue and grab that red. Come through the middle. And make your snake knot with those two colors. Just, again, just nestle them together like that. Pull the white down so nestle those nicely. And there you have it. Just starts making blue on one side and red and white stripe on the other. Just sort of a tweak on the snake, two strand snake knot. It really is kind of just a two strand. We'll go one more time and then I'll kind of try to show you how to end these things. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. Around everything. Reach under the blue. Last one was red. Grab the white. Okay. Pull the red. Nestle them together. There you have it. Um, now, let's see, how can we do this here? When you're getting to about, I'm going to say you want another five eighths of an inch to go or something, um, you're going <clears> to <throat> pull the guts out of, you're going to cut them to about four inches from what you have left so you have two inches of knot and then two inches of gutted cord because uh, each knot takes about an inch or so um, so you're going to take two you're going to pull out about two inches worth because it just makes it easier to get through the second half when you're done um, pull out about two inches worth Go ahead and do that again on the other side. Okay. This video is running a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, so, okay, you're going to like, okay, we'll just do this real quick. thought this would be a 20 minute video but I guess it is what it is so there's your snake knot so you're gonna do like two more knots um, till you get to that gutted part of the cord okay Make like that was the end of your thing, your last two knots. Okay, we have it gutted here. And so what, all you're going to do is give yourself, oh, a half inch or so should be good. Snip those off. Start melting these all the way back to your knots because you're going to have to... Um, get these small to get through that. I don't <clears throat> I don't glue the second side. So I melt it. it. Just I prefer doing it this way. Okay. You 
you can glue it if you prefer doing it that way, but that didn't roll, it kind of turned flat on me. I really don't recommend um, after melting these things like this hot to roll these in your fingers. I got some pretty big calluses built up on my hands. A lot of years of cording and just my work. So, okay. Okay, then we'll. Here's the, then what you'll have left is the short end of this. And then I just melt it really good one last time. Okay. I'll stick that through that hole. And then I just mash it down inside there. See how that mash down it won't ever come out of there as soon as it cools gives it a nice strong end to your cord then they'll just go together and there you'll have it okay uh, sorry for the length of this video um, try to keep them down a lot shorter than this but there you go a couple variations of the snake knot uh, anybody like to like my facebook page mega tough paracord products i would appreciate it like and share that if you can um, and everybody enjoy making these knots. Thanks for your time. Bye.